Hello, welcome to Sonoran Desert Weed Whacker's Grass Class. I'm here to orient you so you can comfortably and confidently ID the grass, buffalo grass, the culprit we're after. And we started in January 2000 and we've been focusing on Tucson Mountain Park and also starting satellite groups over in Sabino Canyon and some other sections of the state. But we want to encourage neighbors to recognize and pull this grass out. So the main reason is it is choking out our natives and creating a fire hazard. And we do not want our desert to be an African savanna. We want it to be our beautiful Sonoran desert with our saguaros and our trees. So this is a culprit that is threatening that diversity. So looking straight at the plant, really take a close look at it. I've got roughly half a dozen traits that can help you be confident of what you're pulling. Overall, the form of the plant has a look that somebody sat on it. It's got this rangy look, but when you're starting out and you don't know, not familiar with it, it's good to look at the real detail of it. One thing off the bat is looking at the flowers. It's a bottle brush form, and it's really good to take a look at that shape. Could you clean a bottle out with it? That's the shape of the buffalo grass plant flower. And also, when it's first flowering, you'll have reddish color to it, it's going to end up turning to a tan once it's pollinated and turns to seed. What you end up having is this um, central stem that is called a rachis. Once the plant has dispersed its seed, you have this central stem that used to have the bottle brush flower form on it, and it's a rough rachis. It's called a rachis, the central stem. It's very rough. Another trait that's pretty consistent with this plant is something that's called a hairy ligule. <laughs> and for folks who are not familiar with grass anatomy, if you look at where the blade is clasping the stem, and at that point where the blade diverges from the stem, if you pull that gently away, you'll notice that that region is extremely hairy. There's these really long, delicate hairs, whitish, blondish hairs that come up. And there's another pretty strong ID trait for this plant. Another feature of this plant is it is a bunch grass. So you're going to see you know, that the plant is in a group and comes up from a central point. And the other thing about this plant is that you do have a leaf blade that is about a quarter inch wide. But if you run your finger down the leaf blade, it feels very rough. And you can call it paper cut plant as a nickname. Is If you go really fast, you could get a paper cut. But if you just go slowly, you can feel there's little tiny hairs that are very resistant. If you look behind me, there's a team of volunteers. It is good to work in teams. You've got a person with a bar. What you do is you use that bar to check for snakes first. And then what you'll have is another teammate who will actually put their hands around the plant, pull it together, and be ready to tug. And then they expose, show where the base of the plant is so that the bar person can know exactly where to hit. So that's the sequence for taking care of it. And then bag them and we're um, making sure that we can get this biomass out of here so we can protect our desert from, from destruction from these invasive weeds.